Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I am going to be showing you how to validate a USA social security number. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import these two libraries as we'll be needing these for this tutorial. Then, in our main method, I have got a bunch of system.out.printline statements where I'm calling there an isValidSSN function, which we will create in a moment, and I've basically passed in some strings representing social security numbers. So let's create the function to validate them. So we are going to do public static boolean isValidSSN string SSN. So we're going to be returning a true or a false, true for valid, false for invalid. Is valid SSN is going to be the name of our function, and string SSN is going to be the social security number we want to validate. So, firstly, we are going to be creating a rejects pattern and then a matcher object. So we're going to do pattern pattern equals pattern dot compile, then this beautiful string of characters. And then we do matcher matcher equals pattern dot matcher SSN. So we're creating a pattern here. This is going to be a regex pattern. It just contains a set of rules and patterns that a string has to follow to be considered valid. And this will be in the description below, so you don't have to type it all out. And then we do matcher matcher equals pattern dot matcher SSN. So we're creating a matcher object. And what we can do is we can use the pattern we created here. And then we can do dot matcher and then pass in our string that we want to check matches the pattern. And then later on, we can then check if they match and get a boolean which is true or false. So what we can do is we can do if exclamation mark matcher dot matches return false. So we're checking if our string doesn't match the pattern. If it doesn't match the pattern, it can't be a valid social security number. So we return a false. However, we're not done yet with the validation. So the next step is going to be checking if any groups of numbers are zeros. And what, I'm, and what I mean by a group of numbers is so we've obviously got three digits, then we have two digits, and we have four digits, and they're separated by little minus symbols. We need to make sure none of those are just a bunch of zeros. So we're going to do oh, string groups equals SSN dot split minus. And you might be thinking, but Max, what if this string isn't separated by minuses, but is separated by commas? This isn't going to work as intended. Well, don't worry, we've already checked that it matches that pattern here. And basically, this string array is going to contain each section of the social security number in its own element. And then we can do if group 0 dot equals three zeros, or group 1 dot equals two zeros, or group 2 dot equals four zeros return false. However, there's a little bit more we need to do. So, we are going to do int area number equals integer dot pass int group zero. So we're going to do a little bit more validation and it's regarding the area number, which is the three digit part of the social security number. So the first part. And I don't know why. So if someone could tell me, that would be great. But basically, this social security number area code can't be equal to three zeros, which we've already checked for, can't be between 900 and 999, but also can't be 666. I am not joking here. This, okay, the zero and the 900 or above thing kind of makes sense in a way. But 666, is this something to do with like religion here? Or is there like another reason for this? I'd love to know. But basically, if it's equal to 666 or is greater than or equal to 900, return a false. If we get through all of our previous validation here, we can then just return a true because it got through all the checks, therefore it's valid. So let's save our work and hit play. So let's look at the results. We got true. It seems to match the rules. Then we've got a false because it starts with 666. Then we've got another false because it starts with 987. Then we've got uh, five trues because they all fit the criteria. Even this funny number here, by the way, 42069-1337. If uh, you get all of these, you are a dank meme overlord. Otherwise, you don't belong on the internet. And then we've got false uh, for the last one because, I mean, this is a bit too big. So, thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Java tutorials. Thanks for watching!